Hey everybody, Cliff Barron from Remax here with a, a market update for, uh, let's see, today is uh, February 2nd, Groundhog Day. So happy Groundhog Day, everybody. Uh, I think it's what, six more weeks of uh, winter? Wouldn't be surprised. It seems to be that way anyways, every year. <laughs> anyway, so uh, let's see what's happened in the past week. I'm going to tell a bit of a, a tale about, uh, a story about uh, Jim, my uh, my partner on my team. He uh, he has a story for this week. He, uh, he did a showing. I won't say where it is uh, because... Uh, we can't talk negatively about houses that's the deal <laughs> which is kind of odd because uh, it kind of stifles our opinion but i won't give the location but i'll say it's in halton uh, region uh it was listed fairly low uh detached in the 700 range so you know i'm not very specific it can be any any property but here's the deal he uh he booked a showing had some clients to take a look at it he had booked a showing he uh he went in the in the property to take a look at it and he was in the basement and upstairs, his client, his client's wife or girlfriend, I'm not sure who it was, uh, flushed the toilet. And they were, he was in the basement with his client and uh, with the husband. And next thing you know, water just started pouring down the wall. <laughs> so he immediately said, you know what, this isn't for you. And uh, that was it. They left. The funny thing is, uh, three days later was the offer date and it had 18 offers on it and it sold firm uh, well over the asking price i'm not going to say how much it is because i don't want anybody to be able to check it out or track it down so when you see stuff like that you're thinking that you got to think there's something not right you know there's, there's something not right with this market and whoever bought that place when the market's not hot good luck trying to sell that because a few years ago that would have taken you know four four five six maybe eight months to sell after a bunch of price drops and all sorts of stuff so uh, as you can see the market is still crazy uh we're not quite at the peak but we're getting we're getting there we're getting close because i'm getting so many people talking about it now i've never had this before where they're with you know i'm getting so many clients uh saying hey what did this have so there's one one in mississauga I had a client asking me uh list for 8.99 and three bedroom detached with a double car garage uh how much uh, how much is it uh, it lists for 8.99 he said what do you think it's going to go for and i said maybe 1.2 1.25 it sold for 1.35 so when you see numbers like that, you know, they, it's, it makes you scratch your head. It doesn't make sense. So, and then, you know, guys like that, they tap out. They say, I, I'm, I'm out. I'm going to see what happens with the market. And I'm getting that from a lot of clients now who are saying, I'm going to, I'm going to wait. I'm going to sit on the sidelines and see what happens because it's just getting too overheated. And then, and then, you know, you, you see BNN, Bloomberg, all sorts of stuff. They're, they're talking about it being overheated. So when it starts to get in the public like that, you know, with like public, um, um, opinion that it's overheated then people start to back away shy away so that, that's the scoop but you know if you are selling I, it's if you can do it now do it you know that's my advice to you because rates are going to go up they were supposed to go up last week they didn't which is surprising and when, once they go up in march it's not going to be much but they're going it, to it's just the thought of it is going to be more meaningful than the actual number in my opinion because uh, it's just going to scare a few people Anyway, so that's it for, uh, oh yeah, let me just say, uh, the average uh, Georgetown, let's see, the average bungalow is going over a million. Milton, the average three-story townhouse is going for a million. And I used to sell those 15, 16 years ago for 250. So it just goes to show you, you know, it's crazy. So anyways, any questions, let me know. Cliff Barron from Remax, and I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.